Ed Children Parenting Program with Dr. Rosina McAlpine. Making a difference to parents and children around the world. Hello, I'm Dr. Rosina McAlpine and welcome to the Inspired Children Parenting Program. In this episode, I'd like to tell you all about why I've put this program together, a little bit about who I am, and what are the benefits for you and your children by viewing every week. When I became a mum six years ago, I realised that I didn't have all the skills I needed to be a great parent. I had a vision for parenthood, that I wanted to give my child all of the his life skills he needed to lead a happy, healthy and successful life. So, of course, I went to all of the parenting books to see what I could find. I hadn't been trained as a parent before and I certainly didn't have the manual with the, that didn't come with the child. So I started to read the books and what I found was there was so much conflicting advice. You might have read them yourself. Some parenting books say, for example, don't sleep with your baby. Other parenting books say, sleep with your baby. Some parenting books say, let your baby cry and they'll learn how to sleep. Others say, never leave your baby to cry. So of course that left me quite confused. But as a researcher, I'm an associate professor at the University of Sydney. I decided I was going to go out there and find the research in the world that was going to give me the best information I could find to make really good parenting decisions. Over the last few years, I've been interviewing experts from a wide variety of fields and what I've come to the conclusion is that it's life skills that are going to make all the difference in your child's life. If they've got the ability to feel good about themselves, if they've got self-esteem, if they're resilient when things come up in life, they bounce back and just can keep going forward. If they've got good communication skills, they can make great friends, they can express themselves. If they have a love for learning, what can't they achieve? They can keep learning all the things that they need to in life and succeed at school and outside school. So as you can see, it's life skills and personal qualities that are at the core of a successful, happy and healthy child. The experts that I've been talking to have been so helpful to me. And because I'm an educator, I'm able to turn all of that expert knowledge into practical advice for parents. I've talked to neuroscientists to help me understand how brains develop. I've talked to psychologists so that they can explain to me what we need to do to raise psychologically healthy, sound children, balanced children. I've talked to biologists so we can understand the biology and how bodies grow, to nutritionists, all sorts of experts across all different fields. And what I'd like to do is to give you practical advice week by week on each one of these topics. So whether you're a parent that feels like things are going really well and would just like some ideas, this is the place for you. Or if you're a parent that has difficulty with some aspect of parenting, Perhaps your child has low self-esteem. Perhaps your child is overweight and you really want to know some strategies to help them. What we really need to understand today is that our kids are in real trouble. Do you know that this is the first generation they are predicting that the children won't outlive their parents? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that because of increasing health issues, obesity, diabetes and other related illnesses, lifestyle related illnesses, our children might not outlive us. That's certainly not something I ever want to experience or ever want anyone else to experience. So I'd like to share week by week really practical advice that you can use in your home. I've created a program of seven life skills areas. The first one is personal power and I'll be giving you some activities on first of all how to find out whether your child has good self-esteem or they don't. Secondly, how to support their self-esteem so that they feel confident to go out and tackle things in the world. What about resilience? We all know kids get teased, they get bullied, things don't go the way we always plan. Is your child resilient? Are they able to stand up, get back up, 
you know, as they say, when you've fallen off the horse, get back up on the horse and keep riding? Or do they shy away from things and give up too easily? So that's personal power. Another category of life skills I want to share with you so that you can empower your child is to do with communication and relationships. We are social beings. We want to connect with each other. You want to connect with your child. Your child wants to be able to make friends. And of course, we want them to make the right kind of friends. How do we help our children know how to communicate effectively so that they can make the right kind of lifelong friends? How do we get them to communicate within the family, with their siblings, to make sure that they get their points across? How do they manage their emotions? Do we teach them how to do that? I'm going to give you lots and lots of tips about how you can help your children communicate and relate to, to their family members, to other people like their teachers, their peers, so that they can really relate and make good friends and get on well with others in life. The next category is health and well-being. It's so important, not that you just feed your children well and that they eat well and they exercise, but they understand what it means to eat well and why it's important to exercise. So then you give them a skill for life. What we know from the research is that the lifestyle you put into place as a child is generally what happens um, as your child grows into an adult. So if they learn what to eat as a child, what's healthy snacking, how much exercise is enough, if they learn that as a child from you and they, you role model it, they'll be able to take those good habits when they grow older. And you won't be one of those statistics where you've got a child who's obese. But if you do, if your child is overweight and obese, I'm going to give you lots of strategies that you can put into place to help change that. Another area of life skills I'm going to talk about is education, careers and money. This is a big category. Let's start with education. Can you imagine what it would be like for your child if they love learning? If they love learning, there's nothing they can't achieve. They'll learn at school, they'll learn outside school, and if they have this lifelong learning attitude, they'll be able to continue to grow and learn throughout their professional careers. So I'm going to give you some strategies for how to inspire a love of learning in your children. Education careers. Now careers are something that children often get to a point where they need to go to college or make a decision about going into a trade and they don't know what to do because we've never spent any time helping them think about that. I've got lots of activities that you can do with your child so that they can learn about the different professions or trades or different areas of life that they might like to go into. One of the things I love sharing with our son is money. Does your child think that money comes out of a cash teller? Well, you can help them understand that money isn't that simple, that you have to go out and earn money, save money and spend wisely. And we've got lots and lots of activities on this show that you can help and share with your children. The next category I'd like to share with you are environmental and social understanding. Our children live in a world that if we don't look after the environment, we're going to harm our environment and won't be there for the future for our children and grandchildren. Helping children become environmentally aware is really important. They'll learn how to recycle, they'll learn how to save water, and that will also save your money with your bills. So it's got a win-win situation there. The other thing we're going to talk about is, as we know, societies are so diverse nowadays. Your child might come into contact with people who are homeless, children with disabilities, children of different um, economic status and social status. How do we explain all those things to children so that they can get on with others and respect all people from all walks of life? You'll find lots of activities that will be helpful for you in the up upcoming episodes. Are your children overstressed, anxious, do you find that your own life, work-life balance is out of whack? Well, there's lots of strategies that I'm going to be introducing to you every week so that you and your children can learn to relax and play. Some of the things will be like yoga, stretching, uh, reading, taking time out to go out and play a ball game, for example. 
These are all really important because again, habits that are learned in childhood go right through to adulthood and you'd really like your child to have good work-life balance, wouldn't you? The final category of life skills that we're going to explore come in the coming weeks is inspired creativity. You want your children to achieve their dreams, to be able to set goals, to plan and to execute them effectively. We'll learn about time management, scheduling, dreaming big, creating visions and setting goals and even using goals to overcome difficulties. We'll also, in Inspired Creativity, give them the opportunity to get those creative juices flowing. It could be through music or art, but inspiring imagination. And as we know, that's a very big sought after skill in the world. Very well paid. <laughs> so I hope I've given you a good overview of some of the great things that are going to be upcoming. And whether you're a parent that just wants a few ideas or you've got some problems that you'd really like me to tackle, feel free to write to me and I'll be able to include them on my episodes. So if you'd like to know more about the Inspired Children program and just like us on Facebook or go to my website. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.